Hello, this is John Boa, and today is April 26, 2015. Today I will be interviewing James Robinson, who is a local sports writer and enthusiast. James, uh, I will be asking you a few questions, and uh, you can answer the question, and then I'll follow up with my ideas about the question. So my first question is, who do you believe should deserve that NBA MVP and will win the NBA MVP. Thanks, John. Um, I think that the sentimental favorite to win the NBA MVP is Steph Curry um, for a variety of reasons. He's really had a, a meteoric rise this year as well as his team. Um, he has NBA bloodlines with his father being a... Uh, a standout player in his own right and he's a really good guy Um, and his numbers definitely support it both offensively and defensively however I think there is a good argument that can be made that uh, James Harden should win the uh, award instead and my argument for that would be that if you took Steph Curry out of the equation in Golden State I think they'd still win a lot of games, and the statistics bear that out. When you remove him from the lineup, uh, their statistical categories do not change much. However, if you take Harding out of the equation in Houston, uh, the uh, numbers drop precipitously, and uh, in this case, I doubt they would even make the playoffs. So, in my mind, who is most valuable to their team? I would say uh, James Harden is. Uh, but I do believe Steph Curry will probably win the award. And to add to that argument for James Harden, the, also he, he was in a new environment this year. He lost Chandler Parsons. He lost o- Omer, er, Omer Ashik. He also lost Jeremy Lin and Isaiah Kanan. This just shows that this year he he had a whole different roster to work with. Also, Dwight Howard, who plays center for the team and normally has is a monster player who has amazing years, was out for for 41 of the 82 games. He only played 41 games and in those 41 games, he was not White Howard that we know. Also, the the um Patrick Beverly, one of their point guards, only played fifty fifty six games. And and to compare both of these rosters, would you rather have um uh Bogut, Harrison Barnes, Clay Thompson, or the Rockets, Dwight Howard, um who was injured, Trevor Ariza, Terrence Jones, Josh Smith, and Jason Terry. I'd choose Golden State's roster. And Curry's the best player on the best team, but Harden, really, without him, he th- that team would not have gone to the playoffs and would not have thrived the way they did. So the next question is the Vesna Trophy, the NHL's trophy for the best goalie. The three finalists are Pekka Rene, Carey Price, and Devon Dubnik. Who do you think deserves the trophy? That's a great question, John. Uh, I think that Carey Price, in my mind, is the clear winner here. Um, Some people can make a very strong argument for Dubnik because his numbers uh, post-All-Star break with the Minnesota Wild are better than carry prices. However, Kerry did it the entire year. And in my mind, he deserves to be the clear winner here because Dubnik only did it for half a season. Mm -hmm. I mean, his numbers prior to coming to the Wild were not great. Um, I love Pecorine, but I think it's a two-man race, and I think Kerry Price clearly wins here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also consistency, like you said. If if you only play well for for after the All Star break, you're you're gonna be stacked. Um, your odds are gonna be stacked against you. 
Um, the next question is about the upcoming NFL draft. Jameis Winston, a quarterback who, um, who is one of the favorites for the number one pick, or Marcus Mariota, another quarterback. That, that's a very good question, John. Uh, who should go first? And there's a lot of debate on this, and it's in recent weeks, it's actually gone back and forth quite a bit more than it has prior. Uh, the, the real issues here are as follows. Uh, James Winston is, on paper, according to most scouts, uh, an elite quarterback, and some say the best quarterback to come out of the draft since Luck. Mm -hmm. However, he has a host of off-the-field issues that concern people and, uh, you know, ongoing legal troubles surrounding uh, his time spent in Florida uh, at the university. That... Uh, the real pros with Winston are as follows. He played in a pro-style set, and he is really physically gifted. And because he played in a pro-style set, his transition to the NFL should be a lot easier. Uh, we saw last year uh, Teddy Bridgewater coming out of a pro-style system, uh, being able to read uh, defenses and go through progressions. It gave him a huge mm -hmm. leg up on the other quarterbacks that came out of the draft yeah. that year. Um, Mariota, on the other hand, did not come out of a pro style system, um, uh, and, you know, off the field, the guy is a choir boy and, you know, a wonderful person, but on the field, he does, he does not know how to go through his progressions and basically was in a more open offense, uh, that is very prevalent in college these days. The real problem is that most quarterbacks from college systems such as his, have struggled coming into the NFL because they really can't read the defenses the same way and they can't go through their progressions. Um, and that has that may hinder his progression. So if you, the bottom line is if you can get comfortable with Winston's off the field issues, I think that he's the obvious choice. Um, if you are very concerned about his off the field issues, then you may want to consider Mariota, but there are some risks associated with that. Yes, that was a great argument, James. Um, I totally agree. If um, most of the elite, pretty much all of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL uh, come out of pro-style offenses um, while they're in college. So uh, a few of them are Russell Wilson. He went to North Carolina State University, and then he um, went to University of Wisconsin. And both of those are pro-style offenses, and that led him to winning the Super Bowl two years ago. Also, Tom Brady, this year's Super Bowl winner, Michigan, a pro-style offense. It, it, there's a long list of quarterbacks who are out of pro-style offenses that end up being successful, and there's a longer list of spread offense players who end up not being su successful in the NFL. So if, you, if you're a general manager in the NFL, I'd, I'd take Jameis Winston over Marcus Mariota. And the team that has that first pick is the Buccaneers, and they need a quarterback. So the Buccaneers general manager will have to make the decision. Our final question for today is, who do you think will win the NBA championship? That's a tough one, John. Um, I guess in my mind, uh, Golden State seems to have the most well-rounded team concept this year. However, they have not gone very far in the playoffs historically, and you, you generally see teams... Uh, get some experience uh, going to you know to the deep into the playoffs before they finally get over the hump to win a championship. So that might be to their detriment. Um, San Antonio looks old and tired, in my opinion. The, the Cavaliers also are in in experience besides LeBron James. They are, but LeBron has that uh, playoff uh, under belt, yeah. experience under his belt. 
and so does uh, uh, aside from LeBron there are a host of uh, veteran players such as Miller and Perkins that have had extensive playoff experience but I think having LeBron will give them a huge edge because he knows what it takes to get over the hump and win a championship. Yeah, and another thing to talk about, um, so you have the Cavs winning it all? I think the, yeah, right now my, my gut is the Cavs uh, win it all. Okay, and I think that the um, I think that the Cavs have a chance, but both Golden State and the Cavaliers coaches are rookies, David Blatt and Steve Kerr. So that that will be interesting to see how that plays out. Right now, the Cavaliers will be playing today um, against the Celtics in Game 4. And Golden State swept the Pelicans uh, last night. And uh, that was our final uh, question. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the NHL and the NBA playoffs. Goodbye. Thanks, Thank James you. Robinson. Thank you. This channel is brought to you by Let's Talk Sports Blog. You can visit this blog at letstalksports54.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more blog posts and videos.